In 2 Peter 1 verse 21, it says men and women moved by the Holy Spirit spoke from God. There are many times in your life when you pray to God, you'll be given words, thoughts, actions, guidance that are unfamiliar to you in that second. Speak from God. I can remember in the early 1990s and the 1980s, I was on CBS radio in Kansas City, Missouri with my ministry and we had the number one Sunday morning program. The reason we had the number one Sunday morning program is not ministering to people of our church, but ministering to people of every church, everywhere. And often I would say things that were coming out of my mouth that I tell you it wasn't Chris. And truthfully, to be very truthful with you, it scared me. I th thought, where in the world are you going with this? And yet it was speaking from God. Whenever you say the words, let go and let God, aloud or silently, you're preparing yourself for spiritual renewal and a divine outworking. I was also on shortwave broadcasts to Europe during that time, and many times the same thing would happen, and I thought, my Lord, where is this going? but it was going in the right place because it wasn't Chris. So I ask you to, in this moment, let go and let God. Let go of any tenseness that is in your mind, in your body, and let the healing and the renewing life of God move through you. That healing can be on many levels. It can be anxiety, it can be doubt, it can be self-worth. As you feel that you've opened a floodgate of divine energy and life in you, you now let go of any thought of unforgiveness and you let God love come in and through you. The love of God moves through you and blesses all your relationships with acceptance, understanding, and harmony. You now let go of any tendency to force something to happen. Haven't we all done that? Oh, the times that I've gotten into most trouble in my life have been where I've tried to force something from my human mind onto my life, onto others in my life. And when you let go and let God, you allow God to show you the way instead of your predetermined way in mind. Now, I pray that you know the experiences of each day are mile markers on your un, your very special, unique journey of growing spiritua spirituality. So, pray with me right now this simple prayer. I now let go, and I let God. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.